Hello, it's Andy Graham of uh, Hobo Traveler. Uh, I have an appraisal of, web, of hotel sites, so how to appraise a hotel. Um, when you're appraising a hotel and you want to know the value of the room, um, you should take into consideration shade. Okay. Strangely, what the five-star hotels do is they take air conditioning and they try to counteract the value of shade, which is... I don't know. I mean, I understand the reason why they do it, but I'm in a very, I actually, air conditioning is, is a benefit, but it's also a hindrance to living in a tropical place. This hotel I'm in has shade everywhere. Okay, now, when you're walking around uh, appraising your room, whether or not you want to move into it, you should look for shade. Uh, this would lower the you know it's going to increase your comfort level by you know double almost it's actually about uh, 3 30 in the afternoon in thailand in the tropics right now and it's quite cool i'm going to go into a concrete room which is again cooler than a wood room so um i don't have air conditioning and i don't want air conditioning because i like to live relatively naturally so what I'm doing anymore is I'm trying to choose the best room. What's bad about this thing is they, they kind of have a, you can see there's a, uh, it's not a steel roof. I think it's, it might be asbestos or plastic. It's better than steel, but you definitely don't want a steel roof. But if you're going to have a steel roof, then you're definitely going to want shade above it. This actually has a lowered ceiling on it so that it has a hollow area up in a, like a little attic area to do it. But generally, uh, think of the benefits of your hotel and one benefit is shade. Um, 3 o'clock, 3.30 in the afternoon in the tropics and it's uh, pretty cool out here. Plus, I have a nice little patio porch to go sit on and read my book.